Today I want to talk to you about family love. The question is, what is family and what is family love? Family love means there's a group of people who accept you no matter who you are, where there's no hatred and no judgment. Many families have difficulty living up to that. The true love of a family is unconditional and everyone gives as much as they can for the people in their family, emotionally and financially and even spiritually. A family is a group of individuals who share a legal, genetic, or a felt sense bond. A legal family bond occurs through marriage, adoption, caretaker guardianships, and legal bonds are contractual. They can be changed, expanded, or dissolved at will. Genetic or blood bonds are individuals directly related through a common ancestor. These include both close and distant relatives, brothers and sisters, parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, and cousins. A felt sense family is individuals or groups who provide emotional and spiritual connection, including at least some of these attributes. Shared values, beliefs, and traditions, common experiences and activities, or unconditional, non-judgmental support. Church groups, 12-step programs, and other groups provide that. The problem with felt sense as the criteria for family is that especially when it's employees, well-paid employees present in the final months and weeks of chronically ill and dying patients may appear to be more loving than blood relatives or other legal relatives. The employee is being paid well and may seem to be so agreeable, so responsive, so caring, while spouses and children and other relatives may appear to be less caring because they don't tolerate inappropriate attitudes and behavior, and they may not be available to spend hours and hours with the patient due to their own work schedules or daily family and other obligations. I believe the love of a family is like a code that should never be broken, even when there are disagreements. My cousin recently passed away, and I'm mourning not so much for the loss of my cousin, but for the loss of the family loyalty. Cousins understand your family and don't judge because it's their family too. Cousins are more than friends, they're blood. You know they will always be around and always have your back. Awkward family gatherings are more enjoyable because your cousin is there. Along with the good times, you and your cousins have been through family lows together. You've been through the weddings, the bar mitzvahs, and holidays, but you've also been through funerals and divorces and other losses. You can go months and months without seeing each other, and yet your closeness never changes. So I'm still questioning how a family member can turn on caring relatives and give all her love and remaining resources to her felt sense family. I know this happens a lot in many families. I can only imagine the hurt of a child who does not receive his or her rightful inheritance from a parent, or the devastation of a longtime devoted spouse who is cut out of their partner's will from some other circumstance. This world can be a confusing place Values are often distorted when we view the world from an unclear state of mind, which also starts to happen when we get ill. And when we're surrounded by people who serve us well, but are being well served by serving us. I don't have answers for this family dilemma, only questions and a profound feeling of sadness as another family member is gone from this world. I would love to hear from you about your family experiences, good and not so good. There's great comfort in connecting with someone who knows and understands. No matter what, I will always believe where there is love, there is a way.